Hello and welcome to this edition of the RMI podcast series brought to you by Tire Equipment Parts Association, Motor Industry Workshop Association, Automotive Remanufacturers Association, all proud associations of the RMI, along with Gondolier importers of John's Way Tools. I have with me Christy Brill to talk further about their latest project called Project Delta. Hi Christy, welcome. Hi Hedley, thank you so much. We're extremely excited to be here and we look forward to sharing the tools with the industry what they can use in order to achieve 100% efficiency in limited resources. Yeah, that, that sounds great because you're talking about knowledge and tools and so on. I think we perhaps need to expand just a little bit more about that and understand what knowledge and tools really mean in the Jonas way of life. Yeah, well, for sure. I mean, like we said, previously discussed, you know, new businesses need to embrace the change. And um, I think they're definitely going to have to start in their tool selection and their direction of spend. You talk about direction of spend. That's a, an interesting concept. You know, the only direction of spend I know of is outwards. Perhaps uh, there's a way that we can get it to come back at us. I know you ladies generally have that uh, problem as well. So <laughs> let's expand on the direction of spend. No, definitely. I mean, the goal is is definitely to increase the profitability of your business and um, getting money in to the business. So, you know, I would say there's there's two aspects of the business when it comes to your direction of spend. One being the physical production where you upskill your staff and you make sure that they're trained on the latest technology and secondly the right selection and the right quality of tools that you embark on or that you utilize in order to ensure that you use your skill to the fullest of potential. Yeah I suppose knowledge and training is vital to the use of any new tools, technology and equipment in the marketplace. Who have you had experience with and uh, how successful have you been there? Well, we've been working with training academies for the past seven years. Training academies like Imperial, Putco, TTI Global from the body shop side. And we've realized that a lot of the equipment and latest technology is being purchased through a grudge purchase um, just to tick a box criteria or, you know, be a certified body shop. But none of this equipment is being utilized to its fullest potential because of the lack of skill. And this led us to a training and initiative called Skills for Profit. Now this Skills for Profit training initiative provides you with training programs in order to upskill your staff and use the right equipment to ultimately achieve efficiency within the business and increase profitability at the end of the day. Yeah, I suppose at the end of the day, efficiency, throughput, time frames are all critical to the customer experience in the business. Having the right tools are, are vital. I, I know that you were sponsors and supporters of the World Skills Program at one stage. Um, how, how did your equipment and tools affect the World Skills competition? Look, we were very privileged to be part of the World Skills. Um, we were the, the chosen brand to sponsor the World Skills with the um, competitors in order, to, in order for them to utilize their skills that they learn on the um, in the competition. So, you know, in order for them to utilize their competition skills that they are competing in, um, you know, they've been provided with high quality tools. And um, yeah, we've been busy with that for the last six years. I'm sure that the competitors in the competition were thrilled to be able to use a quality tool in their demonstration of skills. But I think let's uh, just move on a little bit uh, with regard to specialized tools and quality of tools and so on. Share with us a little bit how Project Delta is going to tee in with the quality and value proposition of Jonas Way products. Well, look, I think, you know, quality and tool selection definitely refers to um, providing a resource that is available in order for you to do tool audits and analyze your business, making sure that you have the right tools so you don't have guys running up and down um, sharing tools, making sure that you have the right quality. I actually have a, a statement that you always see everywhere in a tool brand, and it's the term lifetime warranty. But lifetime warranty warranty doesn't mean anything if it doesn't fall, fall out of the sky and you can carry on with your production straight away. I mean a lot of the times you have to wait for a warranty to be replaced and that's definitely a lot of downtime. So for us lifetime warranty doesn't mean anything. It's a huge priority to have high quality tools in order for it to um, 
um, fulfill its function when you are busy fixing a car or a motorcycle for that matter, whichever it be. So what you're actually saying to us is that uh, lifetime warranty doesn't really feature in your concern. The product quality up front is more important because it shouldn't fail in the first place. Exactly. So product quality is definitely something that, um, you know, that's probably a subject for another day that we definitely want to tune into with regards to how a tool is being made and manufactured and what aspects you should look at around quality. But when we did audits, we've done a lot of tool audits in workshops and we realized that we want to create ultimate solution and we realize that there's huge growth for digitalization. So we developed a portal an online portal it's accessible on the gondolier website online and you can basically access all product information when it comes to tools that have been lost or stolen you can just enter an explosion diagram of a specific product and you can just order it online you can basically add you can access recommended tool lists in order to almost like a checkbox to see if that your work bay is complete and this is a tool just easy to use, add to your basket, submit the order through a distributor and have it delivered straight away. So if we just look at that uh, a technician on the floor, he can use the portal to uh, check the recommended tool list for his uh, particular tasks and see whether he's well enough equipped. The business owner or a new prospective business owner wanting to start a business can also go into the portal and have a look at what the recommended tools are and what those would cost in the original setup of the business so that he can be a successful and efficient operation. Is that uh, pretty much the, the gist of it? Definitely, Hedley. So, I mean, just to conclude, those are the two most important um, aspects of the business is to upskill your staff and to provide them with a tool where they have access to great backup service, great quality and the perfect selection of tools. I mean, you cannot have the skill without the right equipment to utilize that skill and you cannot have the right equipment if you don't have the skill to ut utilize that equipment. Yeah, our skills and equipment go hand in hand and uh, it's pointless, as you say, having the top of the range equipment if you don't know how to use it. Uh, many of us have fallen foul of that over the, the years in workshops from time to time. And um, yeah, if we carry on, if we go into the, the concept as we conclude, talking about the systems and uh, in a nutshell we've got the upskilling of staff uh, and training through the skills for profit uh, effort that Jonas Way uh, is pro providing for our industry and then the quality tools and equipment uh, program that obviously falls into this and you know there's the old story of a spanner is a spanner is a spanner and a screwdriver is a screwdriver is a screwdriver and lifetime warranty is the important one. I, we take great pride in, in being associated with you on the basis that lifetime warranty isn't the crux of it, it's the original build quality of the tools that, that matters more because that's where efficiency really comes from. And um, we'd really like to thank you for your time today and, and sharing these uh, bits of knowledge with us, Christy. We look forward to the next opportunity to work with you on the, on the uh, Project Delta going forward. Thank you, Edley. We look forward to the next and um, I believe there's a competition that we're going to hold. Yeah, that's right. Um, for the people who are taking the time to listen to the podcast and getting to the end of it here, um, we have a question that we need to ask. And the question is, what is the name of the project that brings better efficiency? I'll repeat it. What is the name of the project that brings better efficiency to the workplace? There's some great prizes uh, ranging from tools to G3 Pro vehicle maintenance products and uh, really nice stuff that, uh, that that's available. All you need to do is to send your answer in an email to the Gondolier contact address, info at gondolier.co.za and we'll put, you'll be entered into the draw for the lucky prize. Um, there may even be more than one lucky prize per, per podcast session. The, um, the closing date for the competition will be exactly seven days from the date of first broadcast of this, uh, this podcast. So thanks for listening and we really appreciate your time.